Hello, let's do this Monopoly problem, and we've got a Monopoly graph. How do I know it's a Monopoly graph? Well, it's got a downward sloping demand curve. The marginal revenue is inside that demand curve. Uh, and then I've got these two cost curves. Okay, this is marginal cost. This is average total cost. Marginal cost is going to tell me how many to produce. So uh, what is number one or number A here says, what is profit maximizing quantity of production? So anytime you see that, what that means is where did the marginal costs equal the marginal revenue? Okay, so at what quantity does that occur? Okay, so let's find out. And we're just gonna draw right on this. Okay, so here's marginal cost. It's this line right here. Okay, so we're just gonna follow that right here up until it hits marginal revenue. There's marginal revenue. Marginal revenue will make this uh, green line right down here. Let me go ahead and intersect at 2400. So that's the answer to that first question, 2400. Okay, now what is the profit maximizing price to charge? So this monopoly uh, they want to mark this up. So at quantity 2400, they can mark it up to wherever the demand curve is. So just take uh, take your finger or whatever and uh, pencil and just draw that all the way up there. Okay, and we're going to see that it hits a uh, corresponding spot on the demand curve at 12. So they're going to charge a price of $12. What do profits equal? Okay, so the, the there's two ways to do this. Um, I'll write this over here. So profit is going to be total revenue minus total cost. Okay, so that's one way to do it. You can calculate the total revenue by doing 12 times 2,400. That gives you the total revenue. And then following this down to where it hits the average total cost. So the average total cost of producing 24. 100 units is 8. Okay, so you can multiply 8 times 2400 and then whatever you get there. The other way to do it is to do the per unit uh, method. Okay, so how much are we going to make per unit? So it's the, we're going to sell these things on average for 12. They're going to cost us on average 8. So I'm actually going to make a per unit profit of 4. Uh, and I'm going to multiply that by 2400. Okay. And just to save all of us time, we'll just do that in the calculator. So 2,400 times four is 9,600. So 9,600 is the answer to the profit. And what can we expect uh, price and quantity to be if this was a competitive industry? Well, so competitive industry, marginal cost is kind of like the supply curve. Okay, and we're gonna think that's the supply of the industry. Uh, it's not exactly the same, but similar enough to where we can uh, we can just take that uh, and estimate it. Okay, so the let's do that one. All right, so what are we missing out on? Let's use a different color. Uh, this brownish color. Okay, so that would occur right here, where demand and supply equal. So that would be at nine. Okay, so if the price and quantity were at nine, the competitive industry so that would be uh, price of nine and then the quantity would be 3300 okay um, now in case you were asked what the the deadweight loss is or the loss in efficiency deadweight loss can be the loss in the market okay so we're gonna lose this whole triangle right here and this upper part is going to be lost to the consumer surplus, and the lower part is the loss to the producer surplus. But if we combine them both together, we can get the deadweight loss. So let's do that really quick before we're out of here. Deadweight loss. And since it's a linear triangle, it's just one half, and then the, the uh, height of the triangle times the, um, well, actually, the height of the triangle will be here, and then the width of the triangle will be here. Uh, so it's a difference of 3 to 9, so or sorry, 3 to 12 rather, which is 9. And then we'll multiply that by uh, 2400 to 3300. 
So that's 900. Okay, so that would be 8100, and then half of 8100 because it's a triangle. Oops, not, not defined there. Yeah. I can just divide it by two. Uh, 4,050. Okay, so that would be the dead weight loss, 4,000. 